Good morning, folks. If you're half awake, let's get you the rest of the way. An earthquake, a message to the science world, a signal of what's coming on the sun, and the SDO is back up and rolling here. But as we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find that the gap in data remains nearly 23 hours with only one new image, so we need to check another source. This 36 hours from the Proba 2 covers from before the SDO problem through this morning and shows that we really have maintained utter quiet. And the X-ray detectors confirm this. Solar flaring is flatlined into A range. Now, just a few hours ago, just north of the sunspot and coronal hole, a surface surge ripples the corona and evacuates plasma from a Neptune-sized region. But it was confined to that, and no significant ejections took place. Looking beneath the bright umbral magnetic field shows the magnetic region now facing Earth, but it has decayed to merely a more magnetic plague area without sunspots, and when we look in the optical, we find that they have indeed vanished. It's a blank disk. Solar wind is flatlining now as well, speed in purple dropping to the low end of normal. Right now, the only thing that's keeping the KP index up off the floor is the phi angle shift in the solar wind. The polar angle of the plasma field shifted with the coronal sector boundary, indicating that we are about two days from another coronal hole stream impacted Earth from the currently Earth-facing opening. It's IMF set a quake watch, as you might remember, and this morning a magnitude 6.2 has struck northern Chile. Readings came in as high as 6.7. The real field map bleeds easily into both Bolivia and Argentina, and the forecasting model indeed had a red alert over that portion of Chile this morning. That fault is such a snitch. Anyway, any one of you can predict earthquakes, like Jessica in Oregon who turns 14 today and had that earthquake on her most recent alert map. Two papers posted for 2017. Of course, 2015 papers are above them. That's at quakewatch.net. But the first thing you need to do is watch the 2017 presentation from Observing the Frontier, where the model was presented for the first time and demonstrated in action with historical examples. The buttons below are for your stats, prediction tools, and you joining the team. And speaking of Observing the Frontier 2017, do you know your local astrophysicist? May want to give them a heads up. If you don't remember Dr. Robitaille, that's the Dr. Robitaille who revolutionized MRI technology that that has helped save tens of thousands of lives, if not more, when everyone else said he was going to fry people's brains. He understands black body radiation better than all of us, and the mistakes he corrected in radiology exist in your fields as well, especially in cosmology and astrophysics. If you want, you can live in a world where MRI machines fry our brains. I don't think that's a very good idea, sir. I'd recommend you consider seeing how this revolution applies to your mostly unchanging fields for the past few decades. Anyway, this is what seismic wave from the 2011 9.0 earthquake in Japan looked like wrapping around the Earth. A project using the seismic waves and other event records to make musical and visual entertainment that only the confluence of nature's power and modern technology can really bring to our eyes in a safe way. Much more in the link below. We also have evidence from NOAA that California is repeating a major meteorological event not seen since the last time the sun was about to enter grand minimum. It was apparently 450. 50 years ago, the California saw a drought like they have recently seen, and that puts it just a solar cycle or two ahead of the modern minimum period. Hmm. And down we go. There's a pretty powerful storm in the northeast Indian Ocean. Still got a bit of time before it makes its big show, but let's not wait for the wind to worry, shall we? Also got some weather alerts across Tornado Alley today, much more than you're actually going to see in the U.S. weather run here from Windy TV. Saturday today, so fly on the walls coming up for website members in just a few hours. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.